Peace and love and welcome to the Los Angeles Sentinel Daily Brief. This is where we talk black and talk back to the headlines that are impacting the black experience. I'm Neil Anderson and here's what you need to know for today. A lawsuit has been filed against the Black Lives Matter Global Foundation the lawsuit was filed by Black Lives Matter Grassroots. Here to break down the lawsuit and what's at stake for the Black Lives Matter movement is Dr. Melina Abdullah. Talk to us first so that our viewers understand the difference between Black Lives Matter Global Foundation and Black Lives Matter Grassroots. Grassroots is Black Lives Matter. It is the boots on the ground. It's the people in the streets doing the protests. It's the policy work. The Global Network Foundation was recently founded in order to receive the massive amounts of money and resources that were pouring into Black Lives Matter. Last week, there was a lawsuit filed yes. from Black Lives Matter Grassroots grassroots against Black Lives Matter Global Foundation. Can you kind of break that down to make it make sense for us? As the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation was formed and one of our co-founders, Patrice Cullors, was initially at the helm, is as she was stepping back, she had hired a consultant named Shalomia Bowers to really do the administrative work. Instead of going along with the transition plan, that Patrice kept in place or put in place, he decided to keep it all for himself. Bowers Consulting, which is his firm, received $2.2 million in contracts in a, a single year. And he doesn't want to let it go. He doesn't want to let those contracts go. He doesn't want to let go of what has really become a lifestyle choice for him, where he gets to you know, party on yachts. And I'm not making this up. This is on his Instagram before it went private. And so we filed a lawsuit to say, hand over the money, return the platforms and return the good name of Black Lives Matter to the people who birthed, built and fueled the movement. We quietly went to him. We wrote him a letter and we said, these are our requests. Mm -hmm. We want you to honor the transition plan and hand everything over to Black Lives Matter grassroots. His response to that request was to change all the social media passwords. And in fact, is now using our platforms to personally attack me and attack Black Lives Matter grassroots. We couldn't allow someone to really steal the movement's resources and not say anything. And we're still encouraging Bowers and the others who are kind of um, flanking him to make a different choice. But if that doesn't happen, we fight for the people. What type of resources are at stake uh, that the Global Foundation is holding on to? I would estimate it's at least $100 million. I know for a fact that there's 45 to $50 million in a fund that they've set aside. I also know that Bowers told me without lifting a finger, they would raise between 12 and $14 million just based on people who click that donate button when they get the email sent. And so if we think about um, what's been raised, right, and you add it all together, it would be at least $100 million. And they themselves say they're the largest Black-led foundation in the history of the United States. Let our uh, viewers know how we can continue to support the grassroots effort of Black Lives Matter. To sign the open letter, you can go to tinyurl.com slash open letter, the number two GNF. Okay. That will be on all, all our social medias, which you can follow at BLM Grassroots. Can you give our Black journalists an email so if they want to sign up and know more about what's happening, that they can get the intel as well? Please email us at press at blmgrassroots.org. Thank you, Dr. Melina Abdullah, and we'll be sure to continue to follow the lawsuit and all of the great work of Black Lives Matter grassroots. For the latest in Black news, you definitely want to visit lasentinel.net. I'm Neil Anderson, and you have just been debriefed. Today's Daily Brief is brought to you by Microsoft, a proud sponsor of Taste of Soul's digital world. Microsoft, bringing tech innovation to the Black community. Hey Taste of Soul Nation, I'm Amira L. Swiffy. It's time for the best family festival in LA. The 17th annual Taste of Soul is taking place October 15th. 
My favorite part about Taste of Soul is getting to know all these black owned businesses that become vendors at the festival. I love hearing their testimonies about being able to expand their business based off the profits made at Taste of Soul. And of course, my other favorite part is bringing our community together for high-end entertainment and cultural experiences at no charge. And here's one of our success stories. Hi everyone, I've been a Taste of Soul vendor for 10 years. And if you're looking to be a vendor like I am, join now. For more information, visit tasteofsoullaorg See you there.